Hey, what's up, everyone? This is another blog. Yes, blog three, bitches. Uh, now, today I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Uh, what am I going to talk about, though? Oh, first I'm going to talk about Inglorious Bastards. Now, I am going to see Inglorious Bastards on Friday, and I will have a review up on Friday. Now, if something screwed up happens on Friday, it shouldn't, because this is one movie that I really want to fucking see. So, I hope, I hope. Nothing bad happens because I really want to see it, and it's a badass. It looks a bad, like a badass movie. I've been getting really good reviews. It's like a 84 percent of at a what the hell's it called, uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So hopefully it stays in that percentage, maybe even higher. Maybe I mean it's Quentin Tarantino. He didn't really do anything that I know that's really freaking bad. Uh, he was in a movie that I thought was well, actually no, never mind. I'm not even gonna say that. I was about to say he's in a movie that was bad, but I mean. He didn't direct it. He directed like a part of it, I think. It was called Four Rooms, I think. Was it called Four Rooms? Uh, well, mostly uh, Quentin Tarantino. I'm not, not Quentin Tarantino. You know what's funny? Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino are having a movie in the same day. And Glorious Bastards and Shorts. Shorts is directed by Robert Rodriguez, which looks horrible, to be honest. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's kind of funny that, uh, I mean, I think... Uh, Robert Rodriguez doesn't have as many good, as many great movies as Quentin Tarantino does. I mean, he, sure, he has, gr like, good uh, family movies, Spy Kids. He has the, what's that, uh, the Mariachi, not Mariachi, what the fuck, that, Desperado and shit like that. El Mariachi, that's right. I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, he has that stuff, but, I mean, fucking Quentin Tarantino, he has fucking, he has Pulp Fiction, he has both Kill Bill movies, which I fucking love. Uh, what, shit, there was another, oh yeah, of course, uh, Reservoir Dogs, which is one of my favorite movies ever, and he's actually in that, that's the movie I was thinking of, he wasn't actually that great in it, he was also executive producer for fucking Daltrey Calhoun, oh my god, that's that fucking retarded Johnny Knoxville movie, alright, I, I guess he's pr executive producer, I guess, I'll let him slide on that one, but the movies he directed, he directed some really good ones, he directed Death Proof, which I actually kinda like, he actually executive produced a movie I I heard was really bad, Hell Ride. Yeah, I heard that was really bad for some reason. Also, oh, he also what else did he do? He helped make Sin City, which was Robert Rodriguez. He did Kill Bill Volume One and Two. He did a he had a, a little Nicky cameo, which is these are the kind of movies that are bringing his uh, thermometer down. To be honest, like From Dusk Till Dawn Three. He's an executive producer. I mean, you didn't really need to do that, man. And From Dusk Till Dawn 2, Texas Blood Money, which is probably one of the worst sequels of any horror movie ever made. I saw it, and it was like, where's the fucking blood? The first one, oh my god, when it got to the blood, there was fucking guitars made out of fucking human bodies and shit, and there was fucking people's necks and people's heads falling off and shit. And this one, the best you get is maybe, some. I think some guy gets his head shot off, like, real quick. And I'm like, Damn, I don't remember, actually. I think it was like he, he got shot in the head, but it was just with a pistol, so it was like, pew, and that's it. Anyway, enough talk about uh, them. Let me talk about something else, which is Central Game Reviews. If you don't know, I'm in Central Game Reviews, which is uh, why, uh, why You're the Reviewers or uh, Ultimate Chances new little review group. If you did not know that, I made a video about it before, but some people are saying, hey, when are you going to review this game, which I already reviewed on Central Game Reviews with everybody else. I think they said... Hey, man, did, how much did you like Damnation? I didn't get to see a review. I'm like, I have two reviews up now. You really got to be fucking kidding me. Anyway, it's weird. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, Central Game Reviews, it will be on the link. I mean, the description. The link will be in the description. If you don't know, I'm doing that. We just did a G.I. Joe review. Just telling you right there. I don't know when that will be up, though. It might be up now. I'm not sure. Uh, So, yeah. Expect more reviews. Maybe comp uh, I might do Shadow Complex with them if I get it in the next couple of days. I'm not sure if I will. If not, then they'll probably do it without me. So that's fine, really, because I mean I'm not going to try to rush it. But I I think we might do Batman because I'm getting Batman the first day, and I swear to God I don't think I'll put that fucking game down because that game is so much fucking fun. I'm trying not to play the demo, so I, I go, oh, and when I play like in the game, I'm like, wow, this is kind of boring because I played this before so I don't want to play the demo anymore I played it three times straight and then I said that's it I'm done okay so 
uh, it's a great demo. Been getting really good reviews. Its percent on game rankings is like a 95%. That's fucking epic. That's like that's what uh, fucking Bioshock got and stuff. But I mean, it's only been for like six reviews, so you never know. It might get really low reviews after that. I mean, fucking Game Informer. Game Informer is one. I, I'm I'm sorry. It's a it's a place I trust. I mean, I trusted it for four years. And people are saying, like, oh, it's in cahoots with GameStop, so of course it's going to give good reviews. But it also gives bad reviews to, to games that are really popular, like Prototype. And it just gave a, a really low score. Well, not really low score. It gave the same score as Prototype to Wolfenstein, which I've been playing. I'm like, this game so far is an 8 out of 10. It's really, it's pretty good. I was expecting it to be bad, to be honest. I was like, wow, man, this game's coming out of nowhere, but man, it looks kind of good. I, I love Wolfenstein 3D. It's one of my favorites. It's actually on the iPhone. I might buy it soon. And there's also an RPG for the iPhone. And that goes on to my other part, which is uh, go subscribe to Central Game Reviews, by the way. I will be doing reviews, G.I. Joe review. <laughs> well, the game I'm talking about will be there. I might do my own review. I'm not sure if no one watches that. I might just do it because, you know, I want to talk about everything I hate about that. I mean, I love about that game. Anyway... It's not a horrible game, it's just, eh, it's just so fucking mediocre, it doesn't have any reason to exist. At least they tried something new with that, at least they didn't make it just a regular fucking uh, third person shooter, it's, they made it kind of like Contra a little bit, and I respect that, even though they fucked up Contra after that. So yeah, anyway, what was I going to talk about now? Oh yeah, that's right, uh... So yeah, I'm gonna get Batman. I was about to say something else, Central Game Reviews, and then I was gonna say, oh, iPhone. That's right. Uh, iPod Touch. I mean, I'm going to start doing reviews for the iPod Touch. I might have my own separate account. I'm not really sure because I might be putting up a lot of reviews. But I need to find a good camera angle. And I mean, some of these games I can't really review. I mean, some of them are just free games. I get there's one game I really want to review, which is like the new Action 52. Of this uh, decade, to be honest, it's called uh, 51 Free Games. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's free, obviously, but that doesn't mean it's good. It's it's like saying, hey, here's some free dog shit. <sighs> Would you take it? No, it's no no game in this collection is good. None. All of them are like, fuck, man, I want to kill myself. Anyway. That's enough about iPod, so I might do some more iPod reviews. My first one might be of Terminator Salvation, which is a decent game for five bucks, I'll say right there. Yeah, it's for the iPhone, not the 360. Yeah, I think this is better than the 360 version, to be honest. That's kind of sad. <laughs> that is really sad. It's only like an hour and 30 minute game, to be honest. But you can play it twice, because when you beat it, you get extreme difficulty, which you get to play as a Terminator, which is freaking sweet. Anyway, I will also begin some new games, obviously Batman. I just rented Wolfenstein like I talked about earlier. Anything else to talk about? Not really. If I have to give a shout out right now, maybe it'll be to my uh friend How's It Going Games. Uh I will give him a separate shout out. But he's a cool dude, go subscribe to him. He does a lot of game videos. He asked he did a review of me, so that's cool. Every blog I might just do a shout out to someone, so that'll be cool, right? Yeah, that'll be a little thing I do. So this is my third blog. It was kind of fun for me to do. I just talk about some stuff. I will be seeing uh, Inglorious Bastards. I will be getting Batman. I will be reviewing it on Central Game Reviews. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, if not, I, I might just have two reviews. I mean, come on, it's Batman. It deserves five reviews. And that game is fucking glorious. I talked about I love Game Informer. I don't care. I mean, it gave bad reviews to Prototype. And Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein might make some money, I think so. And Prototype made like already about a million, so come on, man. And that, that was like a GameStop exclusive, really. I mean, it wasn't a GameStop exclusive, but GameStop was freaking promoting it like hell. So that's one big reason why. And GeForce, they reviewed GeForce and almost gave it an 8. They gave it higher than Prototype. That game ain't gonna sell shit, we all know that. So they still gave it a higher score than Prototype, even though they... Probably no, it's not gonna sell anything, and it didn't. So like maybe eight thousand copies in its first week, and that'll probably be it. After that, <laughs> so anyway, the movie sucked. By the way, I will never do a review of the movie. I'll just tell you right here, it sucked. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Thank you for listening. And wow, this is a long ass blog.
Thank you and bye.